Brick Boys and Brick Girls, it's your boy, Brick Boy Lego, and today we have a very special unboxing here and set review. We've got set number 75326. This is Boba Fett's Throne Room, um, scheduled to be released March 1st. We were able to get this early, we got it at Costco, and it was actually on sale, retail $100. Um, but we were able to get it for $80, so that's a great deal. So here you've got the back of the box. You've got your front of the box, your side. You've got the new packaging here with uh, Boba Fett and Fennec Shand. Um, and you've got, you've got seven minifigures, and you've got 732 pieces in this set. Um, so let's get into it. All right, kids, make sure that you ask your mom or dad to uh, help you open these boxes. We've got push tabs, my least favorite way to open a box. So I always use a pretty dull knife to be able to get in here. So let's get going, shall we? All right, actually pretty clean. I did a pretty good job, let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six bags, the instruction booklet, and the dreaded sticker sheet. Not the best, but that's what we get. Okay, so let's start out here with the instruction booklet. Whoa, look at that, it's crazy. With the um, the stars on the minifigure, that's, uh, that's new. All right, anything on the back? There's your part breakout, your features. All right, let's get right into it. Here's bag number one. Okay, here's your minifigure for this bag. You've got Boba Fett, pretty good. We'll do an in-depth review of all the characters here at the end. Here's your face printing, not too shiny. Let's see, we, there we go, okay, pretty good. This looks like it's the same Boba Fett from Slave One, or Boba Fett Starship. All right, so this is bag number one completed. Looks like the beginning of Jabba's throne. <clears throat> not too bad, not too complicated of a build. Um, here are your extra pieces. You've got one lightsaber, and you've got one metallic stud, and a bunch of extra Boba Fett pieces. And the brick separator. So let's keep on going to bag number two. I love when they use this, um, I think this is a welder's tool. I love when they use it for other things. So this is uh, probably like his hookah, right? Don't smoke, kids. Here we go, okay, I like that.
and not bad. It's weird that they put two separate stickers on the same piece instead of just one long sticker, but we, hey, we did it, right? Okay. All right, bag two completed. Looking pretty good with the sticker on there. You've got your, uh, what is this called? Turkey legs spinning around. Not too bad. Three extra pieces in this step. Let's go. To bag number three. Okay, so this is bag number three complete. You added the back and a little snake. Looks like, oh my goodness, oh, there we go. Opens up, not too shabby. A little kitchen for your chicken. Couple more extra pieces here. Bag four. I don't know. This seems like a cheap way to get. I like the feet. The horns are here, but when you put the hair on, it covers the horns up. I don't know. What do, how do you, what do you guys think about this? Okay, this is a nice little callback that they put into the set here. Uh, it's a thermal detonator. I love this piece so much. It's so cool. We get two of them here and they're going in here. Okay, so we've got end of bag four. We added on this little side compartment here for drinks. Oh, it doesn't close all the way. Okay, so it just goes like that. And then it clips in there. And then we added the base to some other portion of the palace here. And you've got a play feature of the stairs move. So we'll see how that goes too. Let's see our extra pieces. We've got an extra thermal detonator. We've got some other small pieces there. And on to bag five. Looks like our Gamorrean guard is back here. This is the same 
um, minifigure I will leave as the previous sets. Here's Fennec with uh, her hair piece. No helmet though, really? They don't include a helmet? Oh, they brought back my boy too. What? I don't remember this droid's name, but can we see this? Goodness gracious me. Here's the real question. Is he sentient? Is he like stuck in the door? Does he live it? He's been in the door the whole time? Here are extra pieces. We have an extra droid printing. And we've got another lightsaber part. <clears throat> and here's the palace so far. Looking pretty good. Here's the exterior. Here's your boy. Here's your door. Here it is on the other side. Not too bad. It looks pretty good. All right, the last and final bag, bag six. That's your first Corrin. Yeah, he looks good. This is the hard regular plastic, that's interesting. Okay, there you go. What a beautiful boy he is. They want a wonder. Okay, here are your extra pieces. And here's the completed set. I'm so glad they brought this boy back. Got a little snake here. Both of these come out. We'll do a little 360 of the finished build. And here's the main build. You got your throne comes out. Here's your play feature. I mean, that's pretty good, I guess. Your roof doesn't really come off as easy like in the previous editions of this. And then you've got your chicken spinning around oh but you know what you don't have to take the roof off of this one that's right because you can access all of that through the back here
All right, brick boys and brick girls, that does it for today's video. I hope you liked my review. Please be sure to click that like and subscribe button and tune in for more reviews and videos coming soon.